Welcome back to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a compilation video today from TikTok of uh, women that hit the wall. You know, them asking their audience or making excuses to their audience why the wall isn't what the wall is and um, how they're thriving after hitting the wall. So it's just... It's hilarious to see some of the copium some of the women use to uh, justify what's going on. So please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And let's get to the chow. It's chow time. Chow. I was in here the other night on live. Mm-hmm. And a guy asked me, what was I going to do? Because I had them hit the damn wall. Yep. And I don't, I'm sitting up there. I'm offended because of shit. At 42 years old, I done hit the wall. Well, goddamn. So when I was in here, you know. A lot of these women refers to the wall as if like they that all of their personality and all of their personal worth is part of that wall. No, the wall only refers to your sexual marketplace and your sexual market value. So you're just less attractive to men overall. Doesn't mean you're less of a person or you have less value or you're, you know. You know, you have, your experiences are shitty. It's just, you're just now less attractive now to men of high caliber. You know, doing my thing, it came back to me like, girl, you done hit the damn wall. Damn right. And then I just started laughing. That's what a lot of you women do. Why? Because hitting the wall for me ain't no damn insult. <laughs> the number of walls that I have hit and had in front of me. Look at where they're going about this. The many walls that you had to go through or go around throughout this whole life. No, it's not the same wall, lady. As a tall, dark-skinned, loud, country, fast-talking black woman throughout my life. How many was that? Like six? <laughs> identifying key factors of how minority or how uh yeah how how uh minority she is like come on are countless but one of the things i can tell you that for every wall i hit i never hit the wall and just laid there and took it <laughs> I done hit do the wall so many times, wall. but let me tell y'all something. When I hit the wall, get what? I will hit the wall. I will dust myself off, get my ass up, and I will doggone keep running. Shit, I done dug holes and went underneath the wall. I done Told scoured you. the damn wall. excuses. Hell, why you bullshitting? <clears throat> I done went around the wall. Hold you. I knew she was gonna say that. I, I haven't seen this yet. Wall up, baby. Let me tell y'all. I don't made myself invisible, and I don't walk straight through the wall. You're definitely invisible when you hit the wall. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Every time I hit a wall, I wasn't scared. It didn't scare me. It didn't deter me. The only thing it did was give me more. I don't think we say the wall to scare women or deter women. We're just letting them know their sexual market value has decreased now that they're in this particular stage in their age. You know, most men want kids. The majority of men want kids if they're going for a relationship. So at 42, you're almost guaranteed not to be able to have kids for that person. So the men that want kids, you just got disqualified for off the bat and now you're 42 i don't think very many men are going after 40 year olds or 50 year olds just you know my opinion motivation it made me more dedicated and i persevered people have to hit it's funny the things that she's saying i do tell men the exact same thing when you do hit something and something pushes you back just get dust yourself back off but when it comes to your looks and the wall and age, you can't do anything about it. That you've hit the wall mantra because they asked them hit the wall. And when they hit the wall, the wall took their ass out. <laughs> they didn't know what to do. They looked to the left. They looked to the right. They looked behind them and they didn't have. 
See, now she's trying to say, oh, these people were not prepared for the wall. They didn't know the wall was coming. And then she's just like, which doesn't make sense because people are telling her she hit the wall. She's like, what? The wall? What wall? You know, like. <laughs> have no options. And quasi, as it's kept, there are so many people who are afraid of hitting the wall. Yeah. Can you imagine hitting the wall and having nothing to pick yourself up with? It's not that you have nothing to pick yourself up with. They still have other features, but they need to work on their other features, like being feminine and being friendly to be able to attract mates now. Again, it, it only really pertains to your sexual market value. It does not pertain to your actual personal value. And I see a lot of women seem to want to conflate the two. A term that I keep hearing bandied about on here is hitting the wall. Several men have said that I have hit the wall. I'm not going to let that get me down because upon... Yeah, she definitely looks like she hit the wall. ...further research, the term refers to any woman over age 29 because by that age she has allegedly lost all of her sexual desire. No, she didn't lose all of her sexual desires. She just lost the majority of it just because, you know... You lost a lot of your eggs and you look older now. So you lost a lot of your potential mates. Our ability and therefore hit the wall. Men, do some of you really believe this to be true? Let me know. 100%. I, keep... I don't know who you are. I don't know what your gender is. I don't know how old you are because you're from a troll account with no followers. I don't think very many people have accounts with followers in general, so I don't even know if these are really troll accounts or not. My account has no followers. However, I think we should dissect this a little bit. You are calling me a washed up girl that hit the wall because I said that a 45 year old grown adult should not date a teenager. Yeah. Because you are jealous because you can't get these 45 year olds. Mm. Let's break it down. I am not a washed up girl. I am a 39 year old woman. I would assume what a washed up girl is, is a 39 year old woman. <laughs> I have three kids. Oh, and three kids. Yeah, Once that sounds like a washed up girl. I was a girl. girl. Once I was a teenager. And I tell you what, many grown men tried to hit on me, and I was disgusted then, as I am disgusted and now. And you probably hit a lot because of Because it is fucking disgusting behavior. Sure, sure. <laughs> Get a life. <laughs> the person has to reply to another person's comment on a whole video. Needs to get tell them they need to get a life. <laughs> Today I learned... That woman hit the wall at 35 years old. So I'm about to hit the wall next year? Is it cold there? Is it at least furnished? <laughs> Lord, what's that gonna do? <laughs> Please. T yeah, it's cold. It's definitely cold out there. I was talking to a friend about emotionally just feeling like I hit a wall. And she said, you know, sometimes walls are there so we can just lean on them and rest. Wow. That was great perspective. So when you hit that wall, maybe you just need to stop, rest, and refocus. I was talking to a I mean, in a sense, she's not wrong. I mean, when you do hit a barrier or hit something, you do need to kind of pause real quick and, you know, assess your situation and see where, you know, you need to kind of go after that. But it's a little bit different when it comes to... Oh, uh, age and uh, looks like I said I mean I guess with plastic surgery nowadays it still can fix your looks but your age is the number one of the number one factors so trying to convince yourself that you still have energy left in the tank after you've hit the wall <laughs> look at her face poor girl <laughs> this one was just funny <laughs> People are Jesus. like, Brittany, you're going to hit the wall. You're going to be ugly. And it's Emotional like, jokes damage. on you. I already was ugly growing up. So I already know what it's like to be ugly and undesirable. Thank you. 
<laughs> no, you truly do not. When you were young, you had youth on your side. Now that you're older and you're looking worse, you lost the youth factor. So you're going to get even less attention and attraction than you did when you were ugly and young. That's why it's called the wall. I'm 32 years old. That means I've hit the wall two years ago and my life has been amazing. Best two years. I'm Chinese. We love walls. <laughs> yeah, they're really good with the walls. I mean, leftover women is a Chinese term. So I think the Chinese are much more aggressive with uh, these terms than we are in the West. So... Or to say I'm Chinese, we love walls. If you actually lived in China, you would get destroyed by the Chinese culture of being 32 and still single. I'm coming back for another episode of the 42-year-old single woman with no kids who hit the damn wall. Let me show y'all how we do it on a Friday night. Follow me. <laughs> You get invited to networking events. At 42. I don't even care for these types of events now. That have champagne. Ooh, they have champagne. Baklava. If you know, you know. When you hit the wall, if you played your cards right, you get access to a whole another level of clientele. Your <laughs> clients introduce you to other people who really got some money. That has nothing to do with the wall. It just has to something to do with your actual industry and your career. Usually after, you know, 10, 15 years in a career or in an industry, that's when you start getting into these types of uh, events and uh, opportunities. So I don't think this actually has to do anything with the wall. Who really got some clout. And it is imperative that you have someone on your arm who's presentable, who knows. Now she's talking about it's imperative to have someone on your arm. Who knows how to speak, who knows how to act, who knows how to carry themselves. So don't be worried about hitting the wall. It is great over <laughs> on this side. The best thing you can do is to pour into yourself, to focus on yourself, to love on yourself. The advice that these women give to younger women, like... You're just gonna let you're gonna make all these other young women become lonely and single like you are. To get to know thyself. Let me tell y'all something. I love it here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it when women say they love it there. You know they don't. You really know they don't. This is a comment I got on my video about Victoria Paris, and I just wanted to talk about it because I've seen this trend on TikTok, I'm sure you have too, where a woman, or I guess a girl, will reference that another woman is 30 or looks 30. What? Other women do this? They, they call them, oh, it's so funny that they, oh, you look 30, you look 30. That's what the wall is, women. So you've been using the same type of terms to bash other women this whole time, but yet still complain when we say you hit the wall. It's a very similar term to you look 30. <laughs> or is close to 30 and it's all meant to invalidate her in some type of way. Yeah. So you have the type of comment where it invalidates how somebody looks saying that they look 30, which by the way, 30 is, I feel, I once had somebody on my old TikTok account say I looked 90. That is an insult, but 30 is weird because 30 is young. Like, this is 30. Emma Watson's 30. Emily Ratajkowski, 30. Taylor Swift, I think she might be 31. And of course, these are all celebrities who are like, you know, paid to look hot. But when, if you're going to insult someone, I just find it so weird that people use 30, right? Like if you're going to insult their looks, why not say 40 or 50? Not that it's good to call any age unattractive, but I keep seeing this number of 30 thrown around on TikTok. And it's yeah, because 30 is the magical number. You lose most of your eggs. 
your attraction level decreases for a majority of women. Not all women. Some women do look slightly better when they're in the 30s, but very rarely. It's not just for looks, too. It's also for activities and actions that people do. So I, I hate to say it, but I follow the Reddit account that okay. is really snarky towards Alex Cooper on Call Her Daddy because I'm an I'm internet creep. I love to see what people are saying. And they're always like, I can't believe she's like partying and doing all of this stuff. She's pushing 30. And that's what everybody says. Like, even if you're 20. Why do you guys want to normalize partying and clubbing in your 30s? They're saying that because you should be responsive enough in starting a family of that age and not having to, you know, be a wild child at 30. Like, come on. 25, you're now pushing 30. And people use it to invalidate if you're partying or what you're wearing or what you're doing because you're almost at this horrific... Yes, because partying is so important and you have to do it because, you know number of 30 and i get that most of the people on tiktok are young and 30 probably does seem really old and of course i'm 28 yeah i'm 28 so i'm probably like oh my god like death is coming for me yeah, you know the two wall's more years coming for I hit it. but i just find it interesting that girls are doing it's like girl and girl crime it's like a friendly fire because you say this stuff oh shut up girls talk shit on girls all the time we can't call you sluts, but the first thing they want to call each other when they're upset each other is call each other sluts. Come on. Now, but trust me, once you get to 27, there are going to be thoughts in your head where you're like, oh my God, like I'm almost turning 30 and you're really going to have to like unlearn all of this stuff that both society teaches you and this concept of like hitting the wall from internet men teach you and then also now you have like other girls saying it to other girls on TikTok, and it's just like a friendly it's funny when girls and men are saying it and women are still railing against it there's a reason why we're saying it because it's true fire so obviously no hate to whoever wrote this, no hate to anyone ever, but I just find it a weird insult because we're all going to be 30. So when you say like, she looks 30, it's like, honey, one day we all will look 30. Yeah, unless we die at on 29. On one day you it's will like all hit the someone, wall. She looks like she's standing in a kitchen. So well, it's one best day to have a be mate and a, a husband before so you do. So any insult that you say that says you look 30, give it a couple years and whoosh, you're, you're boomeranging yourself with that own insult. So... Anyway, thoughts for a Saturday. Happy Saturday, everybody. Happy this Saturday. comment I got on my... <laughs> Welcome back to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a compilation video today from TikTok of uh, women that hit the wall. You know, them asking their audience or making excuses to their audience why the wall isn't what the wall is and um, how they're thriving after hitting the wall. So it's just... It's hilarious to see some of the copium some of the women use to uh, justify what's going on. So please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And let's get to the chow. It's chow time.